Warner View Skilled Nursing Facility at Modoc Medical Center in Alturas is a safe, loving level of care for your family members when time comes to consider assisted living. All our residents are like uh, family members. You know, people are taken care of 24-7. And we're here to help with short-term and long-term care. We accept Medicare and Medi-Cal. I don't know what I'd do without these wonderful people and the care they give me. Contact Warner View when it's the right time. Our family caring for your family, providing healing hands close to home. I'm Kurt Libke with the Herald and News. It's Friday, March 22nd, 2019. Here's a rundown of some of the top stories affecting the Klamath Basin. It's the Klamath Countdown. The John D. Dingell Jr. Conservation Management and Recreation Act, a 260-page bill that covers a wide range of national natural resource issues, was signed into law earlier this month. Among its changes is a new name for a local landmark, as the Tule Lake Segregation Center in Camp Tule Lake, an area known as the Tule Lake Unit of the World War II Valor in the Pacific National Monument, is now simply the Tule Lake National Monument. The legislation provides no new funding. A long-term park management plan that was approved last year will remain in place. Key issues include a year-round National Park Service presence, preservation of remaining historic buildings, and ongoing efforts to develop partnerships with local and regional groups and organizations. The plan, notably, does not recommend boundary adjustments. The Bureau of Reclamation's Klamath Basin Area Office will update the public on the progress of a new biological opinion scheduled for completion on April 1st. The document aims to provide more water certainty for those who depend on it in the Klamath Irrigation Project. Reclamation officials also plan to share a transition plan from the previous biological opinion, as well as an estimated range of water available for the coming year. The meeting is scheduled from 1 to 3 p.m. at the Klamath County Fairgrounds on Friday. Officials from U.S. Fish and Wildlife and National Marine Fisheries Services, as well as Ernest Conant, new regional director for the Mid-Pacific region, will be in attendance. The Oregon Senate next week will consider a resolution that would issue a formal apology over actions undertaken during the Modoc War. The resolution would express regret over the 1873 Modoc War execution of Captain Jack and three other Modocs and for the expulsion of the Modoc tribe from their ancestral lands in Oregon. It notes Captain Jack's history in the 1864 treaty between the United States and the Modoc, Klamath, and Yuhuskin tribes. The summary notes incidents during the Modoc War of 1872 and 1873, including the battle in what is now known as Captain Jack's stronghold that was decisively won by the Modocs. The group executed were the first Native Americans to be tried and executed by the federal government for war crimes. Two others were sentenced to life imprisonment at Alcatraz. Cigarette litter across Klamath Falls remains an issue on health advocates' radar, though downtown is now clear of at least 8,300 discarded cigarette butts. 25 volunteers gathered along Main Street and Veterans Park on Wednesday to remove discarded cigarettes from downtown sidewalks and pathways. Among them were staff from Klamath County Public Health and Blue Zones Project. A 2018 study showed that cigarette butts remain the most littered item in the United States. At least 32% of all storm drain litter is estimated to be from discarded cigarettes. While thousands were recovered from downtown Klamath streets, surprisingly, unlike last year's cleanup effort, there were almost no butts found at Veterans Memorial Park. So why is this year different? Well, organizers say it shows that the recently implemented Tobacco-Free City Parks Ordinance is working. If you're looking for something to do with spring break starting this weekend, here are a few upcoming options. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels continues its run at the Linkville Playhouse with performances Friday and Saturday night at 7.30 and a Sunday matinee performance at 2 p.m. The play is a musical based on the 1980s film of the same name. Local music favorites Nephilim perform at the American Legion Club on Saturday at 9 p.m. The Ross Raglan launches its annual Spring Break Theater Camp for Kids starting Monday. It's a great way for kids on Spring Break to get fully immersed in theater production. Camp starts Monday morning and culminates next weekend with performances of the play A Nightmare in Dreamland. Now, after each day's camp, there will also be movies for kids Monday through Thursday at 1.45 p.m. at the Ross Ragland. Each film is just $2 to attend. Films to be shown are Pixar's Up, The NeverEnding Story, Finding Nemo, and Jumanji. And one more option for kids on spring break, next Friday, the Klamath Library Downtown Branch is hosting an after-hours Nerf War for teens. Advanced registration is required, so if your kid wants to join in the fun, sign up at the Youth Services Desk. 
Or you can be like me and enjoy the start of spring break by binging on the men's and women's NCAA basketball tournaments. Good luck to the Ducks and Beavers squads launching their championship dreams this weekend. As always, for a full rundown of upcoming events, check out Thursday's Limelighter section. So until next week for these stories and so much more, be sure to pick up your daily copy of the Herald of News or visit us online at heraldandnews.com.